Welcome back to the RV Rundown. I'm your host, Barry, and this is the 2024 Venture RV Sport Trek 332 VBH. Trek is super great for families. It's got two separate bedrooms, one in the front, one in the back, and this big living room. We'll come back to that in a second. I want to start at the very front of the camper where we have these doors that open up that reveal this awesome main bedroom. We've got a queen sized bed. We've got that automotive grade windshield up front letting us have our views, as well as two big windows on either side of the bed to allow for a cross breeze if we didn't want to run the old AC. And this is equipped with closets on either side, some shelving that's hidden by cabinetry up high. And then you can't really see it because of these big fluffy pillows, but we do have nightstands on either side of the bed. They're complete with power outlets for charging up phones or whatever else you may need to charge up. And because this is a 50 amp service camper, this is equipped with a second AC right here in the main bedroom. It also has all the hookups for a second TV in here. We could put one up on the far wall and there's even storage up under the bed. All you gotta do is lift it. It's on struts to help you get under there. And we could stash all sorts of odds and ends and extra winter gear slash summer gear that we may not need access to all of the time. Stepping out of here, we notice that it is surrounded by cabinetry, which is kind of a nice touch just gives us an extra place to store all of our things but that leads us into the living room where we have this giant king U couch they call it the king U. it's u shaped but it does a couple of things that i really like one it replaces the small couch and the dinette that we typically see in bunkhouse travel trailers that Really, let's be honest, if you want the family to watch TV when you can sleep four or five, most of the time in bunkhouses, that's not an option because everybody can't sit down. Now, they'd still give us a dining option. They put these nice mounts in the floor and we can plug in a table right there. It comes with it. Now, when I say everybody can snuggle up and watch TV, I really mean it. The TV in the entertainment center is right across from the big King U. And because the TV is on a big swivel, it pulls out really easily and faces everybody that's sitting down. I think that's really cool. Now down low, they've included a fireplace, which is gonna put out a fair amount of heat. And right next to all this slash across from it, we've got our kitchen. It's got a 12 volt refrigerator in here. Those are more and more popular in the RV industry. Furion microwave up top, three burner stove with an oven, and of course we've got some cabinetry surrounding it just for storing all our odds and ends and useful kitchen things. There's a big stainless steel single basin sink with a high rise faucet for really washing out those big pots and pans and just making kitchen chores easier. Now you may be thinking, where do I keep all of my pantry goods? Well they thought about that. Back here in the back we do have a spot where we can open up that gives us adjustable shelving to keep all of our odds and ends for the kitchen or whatever else you may need. Now the bathroom is directly across from that and the bathroom here is pretty cool. It's got a big large shower, we've got a foot flush toilet, there's even an extra door to get in and out of the RV which I like a lot because that means that you can come into the RV without traipsing all through it if you have like sandy feet at the beach if you just need to use the restroom real quick. The other hidden feature that's in this bathroom is that we can open up slash remove the cabinet doors and we have a spot where we can hook up a combo washer dryer. I think that's a really nifty thing in a family bunkhouse. Now speaking of bunkhouses, in the very back we have 
our main bunk room. This is pretty cool. We've got a few things going on in here that I like. There's a couch down low. Now that couch will lay flat and turn into yet another bed. There is a bunk above it. Again, lays flat. It's capable of supporting 250 pounds. And then we've got our bunks on the opposite side. These are also capable, the lower one 250 pounds. The upper one is a double wide, or I should say closer to a full. It is a 500 pound capacity bunk bed. There's a ladder on the side to make getting in and out easy. And of course we have a spot back here where we can hook up a TV right there on the wall. Now, if we've got a lot of people staying in here and you need an extra dining option, they've given us the ability to do that by putting a mount into the floor where we can stash a little table right here in front of the couch. There's even storage in the form of a closet back here on the wall. So all in all, this is really well thought through. Now, before we head outside, I want to close up the slides and just see what's accessible in this thing with the slides closed for like a quick pit stop. And there it is. Okay, so with the slides closed, I can easily get into that front bedroom. I can use my sink. I could squeeze around this couch and get into the kitchen if I wanted to, or just sit on it and kind of swing in. But really, it's just a little tough. I would want to run that a little bit out if I needed to make a sandwich or something. And getting into that pantry, one thing I did notice, though, is that from the bathroom with the slides closed, we can open it up and get into that pantry right there. I think that's kind of cool. So that secondary access door is pretty useful. So for a quick pit stop, I'd say this thing's like, you know, 7 out of 10. It's pretty good. Now let's run everything back out and let's go check out some outside features. The features don't stop when we step outside. This thing has lots of really cool things going on. Let's step right up here to the front where we have our pass-through storage. This is complete with slam latches and magnetic catches, which is great. It even has like a little insulation in that door. So we're gonna keep that compartment kind of in the right temperature zone, if you know what I mean. It's a big pass-through storage. It's well lit with the LED lights inside. I can see putting tubs of all kinds of things you may need on your adventures in there. We have a big electric awning that covers both the entry doors. It runs out at the touch of a button and it's LED lit. And the other cool thing that they've got going on here is they put in these solid entry steps. We're seeing these completely normalized in the industry. The little fold out steps have almost gone away, but I love these because they're so easily adjustable. They make contact with the ground and they make getting up and down from the camper very, very, very comfortable. Big grab handle just for folks that may be disabled or have a harder time getting in and out. And notice down low that this thing is equipped with some beautiful rims. And that's not something we see on all travel trailers. There's power out here in the form of outlets in case we wanted to run like a TV or something else up under our awning. And of course, we have that second entry door. That's always nice. People love having more than one way in and out of the camper. At the very back, let me open this up for you. We have a very impressive outside kitchen. It's got a few things going on. There's a TV up high we can pull out a griddle and sink, how neat is that? There is an attachment here that comes up and out that allows us to use this sink just like you would any other sink. The griddle's from Suburban, and I can see cooking up things out here that you wouldn't want to cook inside just because you might stink up the camper. Or just being out on a beautiful morning and making your bacon and eggs. There's a refrigerator as well as some outside speakers that are linked to an IRV Technologies head unit, and that's Bluetooth enabled, so you can run that from your phone too. There's storage up high on either side of the TV. That way we can keep some other odds and ends out here.
At the back of the camper, we have a ladder heading up to our fully walkable roof. There's an accessory hitch down low. That's a two inch receiver hitch. That's gonna be great for things like baskets for carrying odds and ends, bike racks, maybe even like a little kayak carrier. This is prepped for a backup camera up high. So that's a plug and play thing that you could add to this aftermarket. Now, the Sport Trek is an aluminum cage construction vehicle and they use these beautiful fiberglass outer walls, but they're backing that with Asdel, which doesn't take on water, so this thing is really built to last. Right here between our slides, we have our sewer outlet connection as well as our primary in for our shore power. As we approach the front of the vehicle, we come to the docking station, which is kind of an interesting little thing. I like that they've locked away our water connection, which means nobody can tamper with it, or at least they'd have to go through a little bit of extra effort to do so. So we have a point where we can hook up our city water. We have our black tank flush. We even have a little outside shower slash hose here for cleaning things up if we need to. And there's a sable satellite and cable in, sable, I tried to combine the two there, but there's a satellite and cable in coax right here. So if you do have access to that in your park or you have a pull out dome, we can run coax to that and have TV inside. And then we have access to that pass through storage again, just from the other side. The front cap of the Sport Trek features a half molded fiberglass top with a rock guard down low. What I do love though, is they put in this automotive windshield up front. Now that just looks back into the camper. It gives us some great views and it just looks really slick. Everything on here is well crafted. We do have a power tongue jack making hitching and unhitching easy. And then we've got a nice cover for our LP. Behind it, we'll find a battery cutoff switch to shut off all 12 volt and keep your battery from draining when you go into storage. Overall, I really love this unit, especially for large families. With things like the big King U couch inside, I can see cuddling up on a rainy day with all your family members and watching a movie or just eating a meal around it. It's such a great idea and I don't know why more manufacturers aren't doing it. I love the layout, I love all the amenities, and it's totally worth seeing for yourself in person at Southern RV in McDonough, Georgia. You can come on down, we're right off 75, right between exits 216 and 218. You can also visit us online at southernrv.com. Be sure to like and follow if you love this content. We're always making more, and it'll keep you up to date on the newest models on the market today. So until next time, y'all, happy camping.